Hello, and welcome to Jenny Ray Art. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna be finishing up this picture that I've been working on on and off for several years. I'm gonna be using various Prismacolor charcoal pencils, not sponsored. I'm also gonna be using a smudging stick to blend a kneaded eraser to get into those little details and a rubber eraser for the bigger jobs. I love comic books. Um, I love the style. I love the storylines. I had this idea that I wanted to convey. It is just one comic book page with several panels on there. Now I noticed that the pencils weren't giving me quite the detail that I wanted on the face. So I got out my favorite mechanical art pencil that I've been using for years. I don't even remember where I got it from, <laughs> but it's great for getting in and getting those small details on the face. I highly recommend using reference photos for your artwork, um, especially when you have some extreme lighting like in this picture. I was able to get a friend to pose for me and I could set up the lighting exactly how I wanted um, because shadows can do funny things when you have extreme light. For instance, on the arm here, we have this triangular shaped shadow because we have light coming from above. We also have the reflected light from below. And when we try to assume where the shadows are gonna lie in a certain situation, we, we may actually get it wrong. But when we use a reference photo, it looks much more realistic. As you're looking closer on here, you'll notice that the text for the panels um, looks kind of janky. Um, I struggled with that. That is definitely a weak point in this picture um, that I am trying to learn to accept my, my um, not a mistake. They're just happy little accidents, as Bob Ross says, and a learning experience. I initially just tried to um, outline each one of the letters with the black ink in the background and it just that didn't look good i wasn't happy with how that was turning out so i went back over it with a white uh paint pen and then it got really fat and kind of globby and um, um, the words got bigger and so then i had to cover over with um, a black um pen and try to rewrite it and that's where you see some of the difference in the in the black from the background and the black around the text and then i went back in and tried to outline again the white letters um and oh boy um so what i've learned is that i am not a typographer at all <laughs> and if i'm going to do something like this in the future um maybe i will just print it out on my printer and do a transfer onto my picture or um, come up with some other way of getting the text on to the page that makes it look a little more uniform. But for now, um, I'm gonna accept this because I really like the way the artwork turned out, even though the text may not look so great. Um, later on, I do go back in and clean this up a little bit more so it doesn't look quite as bad, um, but I know that's a weak point. So the story behind this picture is there's this girl who's been living in this dark cave. Um, of course, it's all um, metaphorical. She's in this cave for so long, she has forgotten what light and what warmth feels like. Um, she's been cold and alone and miserable, and I think we all understand that feeling um, in different parts of our lives, whether from heartbreak, from betrayal, from um, health issues, mental health issues, losing our jobs. Um, man, this year has been really hard on everybody. And I definitely think that a lot of people can understand that feeling of being in a dark place. And now this light has reached out to her and has touched her. And when she looks into it, it is so bright. It hurts her eyes. She's not used to seeing this bright light but yet she is drawn to it because it is beautiful and she knows that this is where she needs to be. I found that with the charcoal pencils that you really need to start as dark 
as possible because once I started smudging it in and blending it, um, if I tried to go back in darker, it just wasn't taking very much of any more color on it. Um, and then it wasn't getting quite as dark as I would have liked in some of those areas. Uh, I tried putting a fixative over it, layering over it, and then putting more charcoal down on top. Later on, I did that off camera, um, but that didn't work. Maybe I was just using the wrong stuff. Um, so I have learned now, go as dark as possible, blend it in. If it looks too dark, then I can always lift a little bit off, but it's really hard to go even darker once you have blended it in. One thing you notice here is that there's actually extra charcoal on the one end of my smudging stick and I was actually using it to color some of the areas there around her eyes and put in shadows. So that was a helpful tool and I just needed to put a little bit of a light shadow there. I didn't need to put in actual pencil, just use the end of my smudging stick. This panel here um, ended up being my favorite one and I'm not surprised at all. It's the, really kind of the, the main crux of the story where now she has made the decision that she wants to get closer to the light and it's a full body picture of her. Um, there's some extreme shadows that just ended up coming out really well. Um, but also like the idea of, of her now lifting herself up out of the darkness and reaching out towards this light. And I, I just, I, I can't say it enough, but having reference photos are really important because um, there's gonna be some odd shadows happening here in this light because, um, or in this panel because of where the light is hitting, shadows from her own body across herself, reflected light from the ground, um, the way that the folds of the dress fall. Um, that's another area where I can assume that I know how the folds are gonna look and how they're gonna fall and where the shadows are gonna be. But when I look at a reference photo, I'm like, oh, I was not entirely accurate there with that. Yeah, see here on the arm, we're going to have some of those unusual shadows because we have light that is shining through her fingers. So it's coming around the rounded edges of her fingers. Um, darkest shadows on her fingers are going to be actually right underneath her fingertips. But then also uh, her fingers are casting a shadow across her palm. And then there's some reflected light coming from the ground up, hitting on her thumb and uh, part of her palm. There is no way that I would have been able to come up with these type of shadows on my own. Having that reference photo was so helpful. Oh, I sound like a broken record.
here in this panel, she's trying to climb her way out of this dark hole that she has been living in. She's finding that it is narrow and it is difficult, but she knows that it's worth it. She is just so drawn to this warm light. And you see, I learned my lesson about going as dark as possible with my charcoal and then blending it in. And this panel here, she's finally getting her way out. The last little bit of her pulling herself out of this hole. Well, you notice in the final shots that I had gone back over and added a white border around these panels. Initially, I thought that the black border was going to be sufficient, but then after putting in all these dark shadows in all of these panels, I realized, nope, we need to have a white border around the panels to make them stand out from the black background and so I used a, a white paint pen acrylic paint pen to do that and those one panels though where it's very bright and you just see her eyes um, that's the one exception where in just those little corners where they overlap is where there is a black outline and here in this final panel is where she's climbed out of the hole and she has seen now what this light is and I like the play off of that phrase oh my god that we often use when we see something really shocking really surprising really um, unusual and in this case yes it is surprising and it is shocking to her but it is also literally her god that she is seeing I'm trying to clean up the lines around the light of the cross there. Adding in those final details. Here is the final piece. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Yep, I learned some lessons on here, but overall, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Please put a like on the video, um, share it if you would like to, and subscribe to watch more videos later.